Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we're checking out another ultralight. I haven't done an ultralight video in a long time and I found this Whitaker on FlightSim.2's website and today we are going to see what it's all about so stay tuned. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Okay, so admittedly, I do not fly ultralights near as often as I should. And I genuinely mean that, because the few times that I've actually gone up and flown in an ultralight they're actually a ton of fun um you get a completely different perspective now also admittedly speaking here i don't know that i would ever want to fly one in real life i think it would scare the crap out of me i'm being honest here um <laughs> i don't know why there's just something about it and i mean in all true honesty you know even if you were to lose an engine in an ultralight you're probably safer than you are in any other aircraft because of how light they are um but i don't know i don't know maybe i would i might be full of crap here we'll see i love to fly um but uh this is really well done i really am digging the textures again this is another freeware product that can be found on uh, flightsim.2's website a link to it will be down in the description below all right, so let's go ahead and get her started up. So let's see, what do we got here? This looks like a fuel selector. Based on the feed lines coming from each tank there, that would make sense. Let me adjust my head tracker here. There we go, that's better. All right, so let's pick one tank here. Let's go to the other side here. That looks like a pull cord for the starter looks like we're only dealing with throttle. I don't see any mixture or propeller pitch. Obviously, it's not going to propeller pitch. It's pretty simple. What are you, though? Choke. Gotcha. Okay. Let's choke on, choke off. I don't think we'll need it. Let's see. Master ignition. <laughs> I love the radio. Uh, fuel cutoff. Now, ignition has four stages. I think these are the magnetos, is what that's simulating. So we'll go to the full, full up position. And then if the throttle cracked, rudder pedals in. I'm going to keep my foot on the tail brake or on the tail brakes, tail brakes, and pull. Yeah. <laughs> and turn the alternator on. All right, let's uh let's go fly a freaking ultralight. And we are at St. Bart's in the Caribbean. Susie, Susie, move. You're too close, Susie. Uh, I'm sorry about the bruise on your arm, but at least I missed your head. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, I lied. I, I think I totally would fly one of these in real life. I, I'd have to try it. I guess we can just go right out here. We don't have to go. I don't think we need the whole runway. What do we got here? We have vertical velocity indicator. I suppose I should look at that. Can we set the barometric pressure? Which is probably 299 or 2, but... So I can set it manually. Let me look in here. I'd have to know what the feet is. I don't see anything that's actually telling me what the pressure is. And it, let's see if I change it. Okay, the B key does work. Okay, so you can just tap B on your keyboard and that will set the altimeter pressure. That's airspeed, vertical speed. Not too concerned with airspeed as much as I am with vertical speed. Engine RPMs, uh, 
cylinder temp and oil temp. Okay. All right. And what's this? Is that the parking brake? It is. Nice. Give that a tap. Nice. All right. Cool. That's kind of neat. Let me back up here a little bit. I feel like I'm a little close. All right. I think we're ready to go. Ooh, she gets up and moves. Guess it's pretty nice when you're flying a shopping cart. You don't have to worry about all that weight behind you. All right, here we go. Airspeed's alive. I can't imagine it takes much. I'm going to start rotating here. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. We are up. How about that? Yeah, these things are fantastic for sightseeing. You know, that water's making me think that I'm that I still have Bing Maps installed and I disabled that or Google Maps. I was pretty sure I disabled that a while ago. Maybe not. I can't tell now. Hmm. Might have to go back and check that out later. The water doesn't look bad, it just looks still. Like, there isn't any motion. Let's go down lower. Let's find out, shall we? So, so far, flying it is awesome. And it, it's just like, I would relate it to what it must be like flying a hand glider. Very simple, nothing, nothing real fancy, obviously, about it. Responds very nice. And, and we're cruising. There we go. No, okay, no. That, that's the default scenery. I guess the water just looked different from, from that altitude. Ooh. I like the uh, reflection on the windscreen. That's a pretty house. I'd like to live there. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, don't be afraid to pull back on that stick. This is very awesome. This thing would be fantastic in virtual reality. And, and I, I know I've already said it once, that they truly are. All of the ultralights in VR are just awesome. Definitely fly them in those places where you just you want to get down low and do some sightseeing. You don't want to be worried about all all the instruments and things like that. You just want to enjoy some flying. That's that's where the VR or uh, the ultralights really come in handy in VR. Very very nice. And you guys can see the way it's moving. It's not uh, it's not flying like it's on rails. You know, where, where you, you can see the way the cockpit sort of shifting from side to side. And if you watch real closely to the orientation to the ground, the aircraft sort of sliding through the sky as we make our turns. You can see the nose rocking left to right, which means the flight models, you know, really had some good adjustments to it. Uh, there's been more than once already I've had to, you know, coordinate the turn with the rudder, a little bit of rudder input. But again, that, that sliding effect, you know, you know, that moment of drag before it actually starts making the turn in the other direction. These slower aircraft, you know, you, you get that uh, that impression much sooner than others. I'm, I like this. This is really well done. This is very, very nice. And for free, come on. The price is right. Absolutely. Let's crank that... Uh, those RPMs up. I want to watch that, uh, watch our airspeed as I get over this hill here. Beautiful. I love the Caribbean. Caribbean is such a fun place to fly in. Well, 
Well, I think now we'll uh, the ultimate test, right? Got to land it. Got to got to rock the approach here. There's our runway right there. Not like this is going to be hard to run. If, if we run out of runway, I, I really, I really boofed the pooch there. I don't think there's any kind of flap control on this, which would make sense. Again, tiny little aircraft. I don't know why we would need flaps. So I don't think we do. The flap controls don't seem to respond, so I'm, I'm again guessing that's a, that's a no. I think we just cut the power and bring it in. This is such a terrifying approach. And I think I'm too fast. I'm trying to bleed it, man. There she goes. Oof. Freaking ultralight and I drop it like a piano. <laughs> oh my god, I might have to eat my own words. Oof. Oh, I almost beefed that one, man. Terrible. Terrible approach. That was bad piloting. 100%. 110% my fault. Terrible piloting. I came in way too fast. Way too steep. Way too high. I, I, I knew better. I, I rushed it. I gotta own that. But yeah, guys, this thing is a blast. It flies absolutely beautiful. It's simple. It's really, really enjoyable. Uh, a perfect sightseer. Um, I, I hats off to the uh, to the developer of this one. This this Whitaker is absolutely f uh, just. <laughs> I love it. I really do. I love it. I love it a lot. Um, I'll be flying this one definitely more. Uh, definitely a lot more. This is this is a good one. I love these little aircraft. Um, I probably should have switched tanks, honestly, at some point, but, uh, you know, it happens. But uh, we'll go and uh, taxi her on in. Make sure you guys uh, give this one a shot. Again, link to the download down in the description below. Help the developer out if you enjoy it. Um, that definitely makes a difference for them, obviously, and, and gives them the ability to continue their work. And uh, the continued work from them is continued enjoyment for us. So, you know, let's make sure we can do what we can to help them out. I think it makes a big difference. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out um, a ton with the YouTube algorithms and the way they work. Uh, it's not just a matter of, oh, hey, so-and-so like this video. It really does make a difference. It makes a difference on how often YouTube uh, recommends our videos. So um, please, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you do enjoy the content. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, guys. Um, and stay out of harm's way during this Christmas season. I know it can get absolutely crazy out there. And I will see you guys in the next one.